and to review our discussion last time, we discussed uh, productivity software, or this is also called as office productivity. So this time, we will discuss uh, one of the uh, applications that we can use in Microsoft Office, and this is MS Word 2016. So I will teach you, or you can follow me using your book on page 5, uh, on how to launch and exit uh, MS Word 2016. So, yung una, pwede nyo gamitin yung start button, then hanapin nyo lang si Word. I scroll down nyo dyan, no Word. Ayan, Word 2016. So, i-click nyo lang yan, then uh, lalabas na siya. Ayan. Okay, that is one way to launch 2016. Then, pili lang kayo, blank document. And there you have it. That is the interface of MS Word 2016. Yung pangalawa, pwede nyo gamitin naman yung nasa taskbar. Ito yan. Kung meron kayo sa taskbar, yan, i-click nyo lang, and then yan, lalabas na siya. And another one is yung sa search button. Hanapin nyo lang dyan. Halimbawa, word, ita-type nyo. Then, lalabas yung word. And then, i-click nyo lang siya. So, those are the three ways to launch MS Word 2016. Kung may exit nyo naman, click nyo lang tong isa sa mga Windows buttons. Ito yon. Click close or exit. So, huwag na natin siya exit because we will proceed to the parts of uh, MS Word 2016. 16. So, on your book, there are 10 uh, types or parts of MS Word 2016. The first one is the Quick Access Toolbar. These are the commonly used commands. Uh, ano ba yung mga commonly used commands dyan? Nandiyan si Save or Control S, si Undo, Control Z, and si Redo. Then, may makikita kayong arrow down so you can customize your Quick Access Toolbar kung sa aling ba dyan yung gusto nyo pang ilabas or maki madaling makita. So, dahil sila yung nakacheck na tatlo, sila yung makikita mo sa labas. So, that is the quick access toolbar. Next one is the file name. Ito yung file name sa taas. Actually, dati ang tawag sa kanya ay title bar. So, pwede rin naman title bar. Pero dito sa 2016, yung tawag sa kanya ay file name. So, obviously, this is the name of your document and the default uh, name ng document ninyo is document 1. Okay? Next is the Microsoft account. Ito yon yung may sign in. So, may, uh, mag nagpo-provide to ng convenience to access or upload yung mga files mo. Kung gusto mong i-upload ng online, yan, pwede mong gamitin to Shortcut. Another one is the ribbon display options and the windows or window buttons. Ito yon Minimize, really it. Kung gusto mong palakihan, ayan, maximize. Yan yun. And then, kung ikaw close, mawawala siya. So, exit. So, yan yung tatlo. Next is the ribbon. Ang ribbon naman, ito yung kabuuan ng mga uh, tabs na meron tayo. So, file, tabs, home tab, insert, design, lahat ng yan. And then, yung bago dito ay yung tell me what you want to do. Kung ano yung gusto mong gawin sa kanya. Okay? Sabihin mo lang siya. Kung gusto mong i-hide yung rulers, pwede mong gawin. Ilagay mo lang siya dito. And then, ayan, yung pag ang file tab, ito yung file tab. Pag magsisend ka, mag-open, mag home tab, ito yon para sa formatting, insert, uh, design, layout. So, may mga kanya-kanya silang uh, options or uh, commands na pwede mong magamit when you do your document. Next is rulers. Ayan, yung rulers naman, ang gamit naman siya, ayan yung guide kung saan ka, uh, kung nasaan ka, yung when positioning your text. And the insertion point or cursor, ito yan, yung blinky part na yan. So, it directs the location. Para makikita mo dyan kung nasaan location ka ba ng uh, or nagtatype ka ng text. And then, the next one is the scroll bars. Actually, dalawa yung scroll bars. Uh, mayroong vertical and horizontal pero sa atin, dahil wala tayong masyadong mahaba o hindi tayo naka uh, landscape so vertical scroll bar meron tayo the next one is the status bar status bar is the contains of information about the current document so dito mo makikita yung page number ito sa baba and then kung ilang words meron ka and then nandito rin si 
yung uh, document views and dyan si read mode, print layout, and web layout. And ito yung isa pa, yung zoom slider. Kung gusto mong palitan yung document mo, palakihan ng palakihan. So, yun ang pwede mong magamit. Okay, so those are the parts of MS Words. And then how to create a new document. Actually, ito na yun, how to create, magta-type ka na lang. Ayan. Magta-type ka na lang. So, i-click mo lang. Kung gusto mong bago, click file and then new. So, pwede magamit yung new. And then, how to open? Pwede rin dito sa file and then open. Kung gusto mo namang mag-save ng document, punta ka sa file. So, very gamitin si file. So, save and save as. Okay? So, sa mga susunod na activity natin, gagamitin natin to si MS Word 2016. That's all for today. Thank you for listening.